Beautiful. I'm here with Warwick DL and Matt Bury. Um, they're both triathlon coaches uh, up in Brisbane in Queensland. Um, so if I can ask, first of all, uh, Warwick and Matt, can you guys introduce yourself and talk a little bit about the business and what you're doing with EO Swim Better and why you've got it? Hi, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go first. Um, my name is Matt Bury. I've um, been a swim and triathlon coach for over 17 years now uh, in the triathlon space. I work predominantly with high-performance athletes athletes from various countries and have done for the last uh, 12 years. Really, um, since we've been introduced to the EO Sports Swim Better handsets, it's really helped us progress swimming with our athletes. Um, I think I initially said it was like power meters for swimming, but I think it's better than that. It's um, total swim analysis from every stroke through, through the set. It promotes with our athletes an eagerness to learn better how to, to swim better because the data's there and um, a lot with uh, high-performance people, they want to be better. Um, so the, the handsets, um, give them the feedback, give us both feedback on pool deck where we can standardize um, drills um, or just cater for progression in their swimming uh, in real time. and. Um, it's, it's, it's helped our, our high-end swimmers, our, our elite athletes, and uh, even some lapped coaches who haven't been in the water for a while have really improved their swimming just from being uh, uh, encouraged to have a look at the data. So um, not to be too much of a fan girl, but I think the, the handsets have um, been the best thing I've seen in swimming since I've been coaching. Thanks, Matt. Warwick? Tells you yeah. yeah, I'm Warwick Delzell. I've been coaching triathlon now for... 26, 27 years and uh, about last 15 high performance space. Um, again, mainly working with ITU draft legal athletes. Um, the uh, Being a, from a sports science background and sort of doing the, doing studies in biomechanics and doing studies in physiology, it's, it's really good when we get a tool that can be used for practical application on pool deck very simply. Uh, you don't need to be a sports scientist to get the information out, which I think then opens it up to a lot more people to be able to understand what they're, they're looking at. Um, for me, it's really simple. Like the data just doesn't lie. You can, you can sort of estimate or guesstimate from a video that someone might be doing this or might be doing that, but, uh, the, the, the paddles tell you a hundred percent and you can't, you can't get away from it. And in the left to right distances, there's no, there's no fudging. So I really like the absoluteness of the, of the data. So it becomes a very easy teaching tool for someone to to really correctly change their swim stroke. Um, okay, so you guys you guys bought this you guys bought the system. This isn't a freebie. You guys pay full price, um, and you bought it specifically to use within the triathlon coaching business. How long have you guys been using the EO Swim Bet? Um, we've been just over two, two months now, two and a half months, and um, again, it leads into our philosophy. On, on the better so we 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 gauge progression not through time but through mastery of technique or mastery of the of, of, of what you need to do a little bit like a martial arts and this this lends to it because we believe if you have better swim technique or better running technique or better cycling technique out, outcomes come there and what we found particularly with development athletes if they measure progression by speed um, we can um, can end up going down the the wrong road and they just start trying to th throw their arms quicker and just try to swim quicker and that's just the measurement and there's a there's a shelf life on that you can get to a certain point of being fitter in the water and being able to pull your arms through the water quicker but um we want them to be masters of technique and again this is why this product is really well well used because we can look at every stroke and every meter of every session so we can actually see where there has been a fall off in technique um and again look at how we're designing our sets instead of if if they're falling off shorter than what we're prescribing we can change things quite quickly so this this product really lends it to the mastery of technique value that we're looking for and how how often do you use it across because do you use the same squad over during the week or do you chop and change within your squads or how do you do it um we at least everyone at least touches the handsets uh, two to three times a week because they're that, they're that easy to use. Um, 
we can we can chop and change. So um, this morning, uh, this morning sessions, we had two separate groups, um, and half of half of group one and half of group two used them. And come Wednesday, we'll flip that over. So because um, it's meaningful data that we review with the with the athlete, I can also talk to Warwick uh, from a coaching point of view, um, and also um, the after sale service. So this sounds like an advertorial for you guys, but the after sale service. Rest of it. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Um, if we're stuck on something, at least we know you're only a phone call away. And I, I, I think I had one question once and I had the whole team on the phone within 10 minutes. So that's, that's working pretty well. But as I said, um, high performance athletes, are, are seek improvement and seek constant feedback to ensure they're going the right direction. Um, so that's why using the handsets two or three times a week is important. If, if I don't bring them to the pool, the athletes are asking me where they are. So they see it as a vital part of their of their training. And I love, Matt, I love the way you explain it's not about instantly starting on time. It's about getting technique. It's about getting the fundamentals right. And the outcome is time. No question. And so I, I know that some of the best results we've seen have come from the swimmers or the athletes themselves having access to a device, like a phone that sits at the end of the lane and they go and do a couple of laps and they stand in the shallow end and download the data themselves in the shallow end and then they're, then they're reviewing it, particularly the force field, particularly, the, you know, because that tends to be like the engine room of, you know, where am I, where, where am I pushing my energy? Where, where, which direction is it going? And so they can, we call it the fast feedback loop where they can see it very quickly and then they can make their change and go and do it again and look at the outcome of that change. Was it positive? Was it positive enough? Go again. And so that idea of getting the athletes themselves to look at and want to look at the system is a pretty powerful thing when, when it gets into their heads. Yeah. And, and just to follow that up, we, we, we still do time trials um, in regards to just putting pressure on people to perform when it matters because that's that's a that's a non-negotiable in high performance sport but interesting since we've been using the handset the feedback we get whilst and i'm happy to say that we've, we're getting some pbs in the pool a lot of the athletes well, most of the athletes talk around technique where they felt their how their technique was where they felt their technique fell off so it's interesting how having this device has really taken the, the you know to, to the point earlier we're making around from time to how am i executing my with my swim stroke and that that was even evident in the pool today well the feedback from the athletes were saying hey I, I i think i did this i think i did that we looked at the looked at the data and, and it was confirmed so it's good to have that uh information on hand and so does it do you do you find that these improvements are resulting in improved times these changes they are because because as we said because they're because there's as I think Warwick said there's a buy-in now. Instead of instead of just rocking up to the pool, unfortunately you don't get any credits in 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 sport for just rocking up. The conversation is now they're becoming um, really interested. Um, they're really letting in and becoming learners of what swimming is all about. So instead of just um, going up and down, just relying on as we said with time and 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 not. Not, not try to say time is important, but as we said, it's just an outcome of doing things well. Um, they've become more focused and that becomes, it's a different conversation on the pool deck now. Um, and the other things with the handset is we're picking up things that we can't see with the eye um, or video that there's a reason if someone is strong, if there's an imbalance between right and left side, it mightn't be as obvious, are they right side dominant or left side dominant? It's it, There may be a technique problem. And often enough, we're finding they're slipping a bit at the front of the stroke or they're swimming short. And there was a lot of the stuff that we weren't picking up because you can't watch someone in a 50-meter pool every stroke. Because um, I, yeah, I tire out running up and down the pool watching them. So um, this this is, this data has been really good in regards to um, helping that. And also, um, with our... With our skill set or drills set, everyone has bespoke drills that they're working on um, that relates to their uh, deficiencies or errors they want to improve. So it, it's it's making swimming more meaningful. So that was one of the things I wanted to ask about. Was are you 
you're able then to, in the first instance, interpret the data, and you gave a couple of good examples there of the things that you're seeing in the data and how you're interpreting them in terms of what the stroke is doing. And then you're implementing drills for the swimmers to then be able to do that. It, that's that's right. And then you're seeing yep. changes yep. happen as a result. Yeah. Exactly. Because, because, as I said, high-performance athletes demand progression. And whilst it's always been good, in, in sets, yes, we have standardized drills that go across across the group, but they have also implemented uh, individual drills that people work on. It's not, just, not dissimilar to what Warren does with the running. Um because not everyone has the has the same issues, um, and with this cohort, they love things that are bit individualised to them because they're to them they're important, and to us they're important. But and also, it, it, there's no use um, someone doing a drill if they're doing if they're, if they're doing something really well. Let's work on something that I'm doing so well and bring bring up that standard, and that brings a freshness to what we're doing within the sets. Do you find it difficult to interpret the data? Um, we were lucky that you came along and explained a lot to us. And I, I, you know, I think we're getting better at interpreting the data because we're using it a lot more. So once you get into the system and start using it, look, I, I, I still think we only use the, the product to a small percentage of its, of its, um, capabilities. And that's something that I'm, I'm eager to learn more. I think it's really nice how you put everything together because it's, it's easier, easy as you start going through the system and gets harder at the end. And by the time you get to the end, everyone's sick of me talking. So, but there's a lot of a lot of a lot of good stuff. And I mean, if one of the athletes he sees it more of a cricket game in regards to getting his propulsion over fifty every time. So, um, and like he raises the bat. So, so that yeah. So I think you know you you you've got to be like with anything in life, you just can't be happy with what you know. You've got to keep on pushing the limits. So that's where we'll come back and talk to you guys about um, doing more master classes on how to be, to solve the data or, or just get the feedback from from the staff there as well in regards to how we can use the the handsets better. Do you use a video syncing? You normally do you use a video functionality to sync? Yes. Um, so I'm getting better at videoing with my iPad as I go up and down the pool. Um, but also this week going to start putting GoPros in the water and um, um, it's really easy Um to sync up the video to the data that comes out. And I, I think that's important. Um, a, a lot of people are also visual learners. So I think it's also important to to show, overlay the video with the data. So it gives a, a whole um, holistic view of, of, of what's happening. Um, and also with the data, we can start pinpointing the areas that we need to look at. And so we can be, we can set up the shots better to know what we're looking for because the data has led us to the area this this needs work on so it, it instead of just capturing a whole lot of video and 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 and, and vision and then just looking at it it, it kind of looks good and yeah a lot of vision in water is still a bit blurry anyway um a big man running up and down the pool with an ipad's a bit shaky um so it's 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 good to have the have the have both facilities thanks guys and you i'm assuming you'd recommend them to anybody Swimmers, coaches. Yeah, it, it, indeed. Or if if if, if you want to get uh, contact details off yourself, please uh, feel free for people to give us a call and we'll um, uh, bore them to tears on how good we think the product is. Right. Really appreciate it, both of you.